Welcome back, everyone, to episode four of River City Ransom, the Nubs Long Play. Uh, I'm joined once again by Ova9000. Say hi. Hi. And we hopefully are going to finish it up in this episode. The uh, main thing we got to do is we got to f- make sure that we hit every one of the bosses on the way back to River City High School on the other side of the map. We have a total of, uh, I think it was nine, that we had to make sure we fought. Boss rush, baby! Yeah, pretty much. Let's see what we had. We had to fight Blade who we just beat up in Sherman Park. Uh, we have to beat up Moose, Benny, and Clyde, and Rocco. Uh, Moose is supposed to be at the Sticksville construction site, which I'm not sure where that was. No, no, not that. Chapito Cat. Persona un mappello nesmal. I think that was the location. No, I thought that, this was this right was here. The, yeah, you're right. But maybe it's not. Let's go back in real quick. So there is that area that has like a fence oh, in front of it. Let's beat him up again. I just enjoy it so much. Easy cash. Need some more. You do. Take it. Okay. So that is one of them that we have to beat up. That was uh, Blade. Yeah, Park. Got... Okay. So can we go back farther? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we we stopped there, but I think there were at least two more screens. Hey, U.S. Mail? Grotto Mail. They really did localize this. Let's hit uh, Sushi Bar real quick, because we both need help. Okay. Oh, yeah, wow. Let's see what we need. For Grotto Mall, Sushi Bar, the best one for the money is... It's probably going to be Arc Shell, which gives us 50 stamina, and it's in the expensive sushi section. Yeah. Did it say? Man. Yeah, it's weird. They yeah. put that in a weird order. Um, well, it said it twice. Or maybe it said weapon. Did it say weapon and willpower? It said weapon, and then it said max stamina is max. Oh, no, it said willpower is max. Okay, well. All right, let's hold yeah, on. So willpower and max power aren't the same thing. That's, that's what we're getting confused on. Is this what you'd like? Yes. Thanks. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Dark Shell. Weapon up one. Willpower two up. Okay, you were maxed out. That's why stamina. You could probably use another one. I Probably. could. We're not saving the money for anything at this point. Uh, Unless you want to get a swordfish, which will give you four kick. No, my kick is maxed out. Is it? Oh, yeah, because yeah, you got the loafers. So the eye um, would be the one that would benefit from that. What do I get from the cheaper stuff? Uh, let's see. Cheap stuff. Uh, the best is the prawn for $6, but that gives you 32 You would have been better off with Arc Shell. So you get 50 for three extra dollars. Right, but what stats does it give me? Uh, Prawn gives you two strength, 32 stamina, and three max power. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I feel like at offensive stats, our best bet is to just go ahead and pile up on cookies. <laughs> strength and defense. Yeah, I don't care about any of that. All those just do stamina and max power, so... Let's continue... me for the first half of the game and now they just want to beat you up. Maybe it's whoever has like the highest of a specific stat. Uh, or maybe where it's just our imagination. No, now he's coming after me. Oh, sorry. Ow, that was my fault. Cross town high. So this was the first screen of the game. So it's possible we miss someone here. I'll tell you what. My... No, I can't. All right. While you're helping get those guys out of the way, let me check if you can see it. Ow. Damn it. We had to find Sticksville Construction Site. And Sticksville was the next screen over, so there's got to be a connecting screen if we miss something. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> he came running at me full bore and he was like, yo, dude, chill out. Can we actually go in here? Mm -mm. This is where we start at. So we All right. Back the other way. Here we go. Go back. I, I'm stuck. Back the other way. I jumped out the screen. Whoa! Ow. So there's no boss here, right? No. We need to find wherever the construction site is that apparently I missed. And since we're in sticks, we have to assume it's attached somehow. I know my sticks attached. friend. Yeah, it's not letting us go this way, so it's... I'm not sure where we're missing. Where's that bookstore? Hold on, hold on. Let me pull the map real quick. Alright, so very first screen. Nothing. There. Blade. The bookstore is this way. It's got books right here. Ah! Went off the map. So what does the Arco Circus do? Uh, basically, when you jump, you do like a weird spinning attack. I want that. But I think after you're running, in order to do it. Let's do it. For the sake of science. Nice. All right, make sure that you equip it. So you actually use it. So the next boss that we were capable of fighting, help. obviously. Park shell. I don't. I can't afford it. It's uh. It's, oh, it's nine dollars. Yeah. Uh, prawn. Yeah. This point. Let's take a quick look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. You're 29. Yeah, my defense is up to 30. That's yeah. okay. I got, I got pretty good defense. Uh, willpower is good. You could use more willpower. Uh, that's sauna in the last area. Yeah, but so we'll stop in there. Yeah. Alright, so anyway. I mean, on our way, I feel like we can probably grab a few useful things. Alright, the next closest loss is one we know we've already beaten, but we'll do in my game anyway, which is the weight. Ow! Stop throwing shit at me. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, I see your flying thingamajig. I want the achievement for most people killed with a chain. I mean, we've beaten him up three times, so... Alright, so the next one, we would go back down and to the right one screen for the next boss. Stop hiding. Coward. Uh... Yeah, it's here. Oh! Into the pit with you! You gonna, you gonna fight me? <laughs> <laughs> that guy knows what's up. The answer was no. He wasn't <laughs> gonna fight you. I respect that. I respect that. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you live. My friend's not. Oh, were we supposed to come? Yeah, there's a boss here. We gotta fight. Tip, 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 tip. 
There he is. Moose. Here we go again. So we did beat this one. Yeah, we beat Moose, for sure. All right, so next boss is past this mall that we're going into now. Uh, you might want to grab some more food. And we'll just do uh, Benny and Clyde a second time. Oh, I can get... Real quick, yeah. we know that's a reliable food stuff. Uh, let's see what Mal sells. I think the uh, chow mein gave us the most. Uh, pepper beef is 52 stamina, so it's pepper beef. There we go. I'm good to go. Yeah, it's pepper beef is the most of 52. Chow mein gives you one kick. Plus 40 stamina. Okay. So this is one that we're very familiar with and we're certain that we've beaten up. Is Actually, this the, uh, yeah, 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 I was just thinking, let's get some drugstore. Karma Jewel. Yeah, because I think I could use, oh, just two of them, two, three of them. Was being responsible, I'd get an emergency Merv as a backup. Alright, the next one's this way. We've already beaten these guys many, many times, so I know we've done these two. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked! You dick. I'll be rotten hell. You wanna fight him one more time, get some cash, go get a pepper beef? Yeah, probably a good idea. Alright, this time no screwing around. Take both. I want to know how to do my, uh... Run and jump. That's it. Uh... Grab the money! Grab the money! Oops. So what does this actually do? Is it if attack? you hit enemies with it, it does damage. Yeah, I feel like that was a terrible way told you not to do it. No, you didn't. The first episode is that it's a waste of money. After a review of the first episode, the ruling is that the channel host, Victory Nub, did not say Acro Circus was a waste of money. Well, the 9,000 retains the right to call him on his bullshit at a future time of his choosing. Reset the game video to 13 minutes, 15 seconds. First down. He's kind of fun, though. Oh, I can do it on the upswing, too. It's not just a downswing. Oh, I didn't mean to... That's right. Let's just go get some beef. said, <laughs> if I understood right, it said the warehouse, which we were technically at, so maybe there's someone out here that we didn't do. Oh, I'm not even that. 
getting it. Da auf der Line of Fire. Attacking, so nothing there. Let's go into the house. So it's this guy in here is next. Yeah, they both call WSL Warehouse. Oh. No! Got it. Why? I don't think you do it from that one. What is going on? I have done this five or six times now. Get up on the thing! You are embarrassing me! I gotta go back over. Oh, <laughs> this is not a fun area. <laughs> room beats you up. The room itself is in hell. I'm gonna stay, stay there. Stay there, stay there. Alright, the boss is gonna be on the other side. Stay where you're at. Oh, hold on. Come on. Get on the box. Get on the box. Am I crazy? That worked earlier, right? <laughs> I got it. I got it. We're good. It's the... They, they could have done a better job of the jumping in this game. Alright, I'm just gonna drop in on them. Ah! Lighten up Rambo. E take the money. Take the money. Good. Alright. So, next Three boss is going to be Blade, who's in Sherman Park, which is way back at the oh. beginning of the game, and we've definitely beaten him up. I don't think we ever beat Blade, and I think that's why we were being caught. Yeah, I think you're right. Unless there was a boss in that one area we only went through twice, that indoor area. Oh, we also, what was the area? I think that was the area we met the girl who told us what to do. That park. And we had to go back to fight him in order to advance. I'm uh, betting that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. There was a, like, one NPC conversation in this whole game. All right. So, Turk would be the next. We third portion of Armstrong Thruway. So that's the tunnel we go through next that has the wooded area of the tunnel and the other wooded area. So here. And then we gotta find the guy in the third section. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit myself. Oh, sorry. Gotta take it all. Yeah. I don't want to fight these guys, but I want to. Ah, I did what I was gonna do. Right, let's go. Ow! Right in the back of the head. Nearly enough to get any of these items. Alright, so this is where another boss fight should be, and I feel like we already did this one for so oh, yeah. several times. Ugh. Squirrely little. You have any food that we can eat? We don't have to fight this guy if you're. No, I'm not. I have six pips. Oh! Ah! I didn't mean to run into him. Use it. If you got something. No, I'm not going to use it. Okay. Fine. Take it. Alright, so the next boss is... in the downtown, quote-unquote, playground. I don't know where that is. Are we in downtown right now? We're not. Are we? Fight some 
dancing on me. This is a step up to the street. There's a guy here too, right? Uh, this might be it, if that's the case. Yeah, there is. Alright. I'm his ass. Mojo. We've definitely beaten him all the time, so this yeah. is not it. If there's a missing one. Ah, uh, you take it. Okay, so Mojo was the next one, and then there's Thor in the vacant third wheel factory. Which I think we went into briefly a while back. Alright, what are these stores? What's That's bookstores? That's bookstore? Yep. This is uh, food um, of some kind. Hold on, let me look. Uh, where did we enter right now? Flatiron? I think so. So this is the Roman cow. This is the food shop. The pizza. Right. I'm gonna get a Merv. Oh, I can't get a Merv here? Okay. Uh, I can get a pizza though. I'm gonna get a pizza. Nero Pizza's 50 stamina. do any last uh, attack tweaks the candy shops right next door. Let's see what I had left to boost. It was just punch could go up a little more. And I don't think it boosts anything else. It's all punch kick, weapon or throwing is what we can get in those shops. So uh, I can do Yeah I'll, I'll boost one of those. Do some rock candy, I guess. How many do I got? Room for three? Yeah, room for three. Which one does the weapons? The weapons are boosted by Did Jawbreakers. size of the jawbreaker she's handing you? It just didn't occur to me until now. That whole thing is the jawbreaker. Look at that thing. Yeah, it's like half the size of my head. I think the reason it breaks your jaw isn't because of how hard you can bite into it. It's because it, it literally will break your jaw to enter your mouth. So what I was thinking was, is that, can you get through that barrier? Get through the barrier. Yeah, that barrier right there. Is that another area we oh. can go in? Hmm. There was a, a warehouse that we could get to, and that was it. Contra spin! So we gotta go this way. Did I beat up two guys doing that? I saw two people say that. This is where that room was. We see someone here outside. Uh, check the map real quick. Four is who we're looking for. We passed the town. We went through two screens. We gotta go up one and the right one to find four. So up, not here, but the one to the right of this. Oh yeah, this because this takes us to the next area. Yes. Could we go right outside there? I'm waiting for them to do something. You gonna move? Huh? What are you gonna do? Did you move, coward? Gotcha. Ah, and then I fell. That's what you would call a tactical blunder on his part. Uh-oh. Yeah! Where is he going with me? Oh! Going up. Nice. 
Oh, I was hoping to catch him. Oh, you got a, you got a, an elixir if you need to use well, it. Oh, I'm dead. So it doesn't matter. Because just walked off the goddamn ledge. I don't know if we lose any stats when we die. No, I don't think so. Well, let's see what your stats I'm are. I'm pretty like. sure we confirmed that. Maybe max power? How do you not have max power by now? I had 108 last time I looked. Well, let's see now. You're back. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, don't Punch look like Punch 21, kick, weapon, yeah, all that looks right. Alright. Weird. And I didn't have hardly any money anyway. I hear a boss song. No, you... <laughs> Please do not kill him. Well... I there. Didn't... Yeah, we never fought this guy. Yeah, that's just it. Alright. Oh, I don't want to pick this up! Oh no, oh no. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Oh, ah, shit. I can't not run! Damn it! Right, get him. out of here. And he just told us that we can go fight the final guy, so we should oh, be did he? good, yeah. Oh, alright. That do was it. the last boss before the final area. Oops. What are you doing? I, I don't know. I'm pressing buttons. Exit. Thank you. Alright. Exit. Thank you. Alright, so there is a town right ahead that we can go get some help in. See what we can do for health recovery here. Love potions. We should go all the way to the drugstore. You can get love potions for $9.95. They give you 80 stamina each time. Although you don't have enough money for that. Uh, yeah, when we duck out, I can get a couple bucks. Come back. Are those you can well, hold? Uh, those, Benny right? and Clyde are in the next screen. And those are easy fights. What? Yeah. Are we no, we passed Benny. No, Clyde. they're right here. Oh, these guys. Okay. Yeah, Benny and Clyde. <laughs> I thought those were the guys down in that dirt pit by the bridge. They are. Is they the same come guys? Back. These are the same two guys. You wanna hit the song? Yeah, let's do the song. Give me some butt crack. So we both have max willpower, and I think that was the main thing that we could get in there. Now, what we just found out by fighting Thor, who isn't even the last boss, we got like five more bosses that, that we got to fight. Um, we cannot let them hit us once. I mean, you get in there, you start pummeling them, and don't waste time. Uh, if we do, we're, we're Well, gonna I got to let you run in, because when we both try to attack them, we end up hitting <laughs> each other. Uh, low potions right here. If we can afford it. Yeah. You can afford it. Okay. I'm just going to get the last bit of health I can get out of potions. Alright, so you take those to go, and then... Yeah. Alright, so I am loaded up on health items. What do these other ones do? Does the uh, vitamins give me anything good? The vitamins give you 8 stamina, 1 willpower, and 2 max power. Uh, the date, date saver, 3 willpower, 40 stamina, and 10 max power. Oh, I missed my hit. Nice to kill. Let's just do these guys a few times. Yeah. Let's do these guys. <laughs> no, no, it is over. It's not over until you come back on this screen again. I missed! Ow! I eat pie to the head. You need to pile up some, some health items, because yeah, I don't really have the, the one, don't you? Yeah, and I was kind of saving that for uh, like a boss or something. Really? Yeah. Aww. Dumb. 
die already. Ow! But that doesn't seem to do any damage when we do it. Yeah, that's a good thing. Otherwise, I think we'd be dead a few times right now. Run. You going for yeah, it? Let's do it. Hey. Yeah, save. Yes. Crunch. Now, let's do this. Yee -haw! Here. Nope. Mm -mm. Last boss we gotta fight is at the school. To get it. Oops, wrong button. It's a terrible. Uh oh, he's grabbing an item. Oh, that's really lame that he can walk off screen and see where he's going. Get behind him, start kicking. Got you. Oh shit! I'm so sorry. Oh, that took a lot of damage. Yeah, we can't. We can't be doing that. We can't be doing that double team thing. There's a boss in basically every room we go through here. Go for a slam dunk! Cow. You jump <laughs> on that asshole here? Yeah. There he is. Ow! Good job. <laughs> I'm gonna cheer you on from up here. You can do it! Alright, get ready. Get. Okay. Move out the way and I'll throw a thing at him. Oh, oh, him. Okay. Never mind. Keep it unpinned is the main thing there. I... Did he come through this door? I guess we gotta go up. I hope I can jump up there. Okay, okay, stop. I got it. I'll wait. Can't do it from underneath, gotta do it from the side. There you go. So the, the, this door back here. Sorry, they're targeting you? It's gotta be whoever has lower health. Yeah, maybe. Although I feel like that's been me for most of the time. Applied a date saver. What does that tell you? 
Uh, it's Axe Body Spray. <laughs> oh, I guess it depends on the kind of woman you're getting with that axe. Battle Axe. Uh, I gotta go up, I guess? If I don't see anyone else to fight. Maybe the stairs? Yeah. Well, ostensibly, we gotta get to the roof. These floors are going to have a boss we're going to fight. This one definitely has a boss, because I remember the Cowboys are a unique game that you can only see the one area, and they have a boss named Tex, or Texas. They're from Dallas. <laughs> fight of the century. I helped. I think that's a boss song. Sounds like it changed. There is. Bash, 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 bash. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Tex. Ooch. We got him. Who needs him more? Yeah, there was really. I'll take it. What did I get? Oh, I almost got ten bucks. Wow, nice. Okay. Uh, I think that's like the second last boss we got. Let me double check. We got two guys coming up on the third floor, which is basically right above us, and then the final boss is on the roof. I'll tell you what, before we do that, I've got extra. I'm gonna drink a love potion because I can probably use it. 76. So I mean, I had four less than full. All right, I'm good. What's my uh, status at? 67. And how much do you get for that? Does. 80 stamina. Alright, I'll wait till I take a few hits and I'm down in the 30s. Uh, very few. I think they're gonna do one or two shots to wipe us out. I mean, it is the final guys of the game. Are too strong. Yeah, you tails. sure kicked our tails. You beat us, and now the end is near. You'll find what you want up on the roof. All right, final boss is the next area. You might want to use your health now. Alrighty. You'll still be left with two. What the? Kidnap my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Whoever. Our girlfriend. Talk. We're polyamorous. Oh, wait. No. That's not what that means. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Go down, go down, go down! Stay there. Stay there. We got him. We got him. He's screwed. He's screwed. Cheat to win! We did it! Hey, fives. We just beat the game. <laughs> What's happening? My evil power is gone. <laughs> We were friends. You were. We weren't friends. You kidnapped my girlfriend. Always too good. I despise you. I secretly loved you yeah, all the time. Seen the last of me. Ah, I'll be back, and I won't forget this. Oh, well, you did take the time to carve it. We did it. Thanks to uh, and the smooth Q35. That was the end of Simon. The gangs returned to class and became honor students. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cindy was rescued in time to finish her shopping. Wow, that's sexist. <laughs> yes. All was once again peaceful in River City. 
Staff! Alright, uh, that's it. We, uh, we beat the game. Four episodes. I think that was pretty fair. I mean, it's not exactly the longest game in the world, but you have to boost your stats in order to beat it. If you just try walking from point A to point B, you won't be able to do anything against final bosses. Uh, the main thing in order to beat the game is you gotta have a book to either enhance your, uh, punches, kicks, or melee weapons if you somehow made it that far into the game to get that book. Uh, final thoughts on the game. I think this is a great uh, side-scrolling brawler. Of all the side-scrolling brawlers on Nintendo, this is easily my favorite. Mm -hmm. And the main thing behind that is there's actual stat progression, which you've never found in any of the other brawlers at this point in time. Yeah. Double Dragon, it was basically move from left to right, beat up bad guys. There were no carryover items, no stat improvements, the same enemies from start to finish. Here... You had to eat to improve your attack abilities, your defense, your ability to get up from a final blow and, and shrug it off. Uh, you found items that you equipped in this game, books, hats, shoes, all kinds of things that would boost your stats. And that is a nice difference from most side-scrolling brawlers that you found back in the day. Uh, as far as bad stuff for it, uh, it does feel like you're just beating up the same guys all the way through the game. I mean, they change shirt colors sometimes, but that's the main difference between enemies. Uh, Technos Japan did make Double Dragons, so this does feel like what should have been a natural progression from what they did in that first game, which is an enjoyable game, but clearly this is a superior experience because of the progression that you experience during the game. Not to mention you can improve your abilities, your actual punches and kicks which is something that never happened in Double Dragon. Uh, final thoughts on this game? Yeah, this is one of my favorites uh, on the NES. And yeah, I, I don't know if it's... I can't think of all the beat-em-ups that I've ever played, but it's got to be in the top three for for sure. Um, yeah, the stab progression really um, made a difference. I, I always love the little restaurants, the way you just sit there with the goofy grin on your face and then you eat the whole thing and... I do remember playing this um, with uh, a friend back in elementary school, and uh, it was one of his favorite games. We used to play it all the time at his house, and um, so I'd always, uh, it's, I've got a fondness for it because of that. Um, but yeah, I've never beaten it before, so it was a first for me. Awesome. Yeah, uh, this is a rental. This would have been a rental regrets episode because I'd never officially owned this game, and obviously we're looking at the. Uh, Xbox uh, re-release of the game so that you have save states and some other background stuff. Plus, it's more pixel perfect. Yeah, you got that guy over there TV. telling you to bring it down a notch. Bring it down. Just, hey, listen, you were at an 8. I need you down like a 5, okay? Uh, if I had been doing this as a rental regrets, I would definitely say this is a game I regretted not buying as a kid. Uh, the brawlers that I had, I think this is the one that I always kind of pined for and never got from any of the other brawling games. I have Double Dragon. I have... Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I've played Fatal Fury and the X-Men and the Simpsons and just every brawler on the planet. This is like the gold standard and it is strange that no one ever tried to follow up on this formula. It's it's bizarre. I think this well, is maybe as, as good as it can get. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the video game, basically is an homage to this game. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever played that. Uh, I haven't, but yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, if they're basically following the, the structure of this, yeah. But uh, yeah, great game. Glad we played all the way through it. Uh, this was, uh, this was a lot of fun. All right. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode of uh, Nubs Long Play for River City Ransom. How many, uh, how many Merv burgers do you give this game? Uh, if I was going to give it a Merv, Mondo Merv rating. Yeah, Mondo. Must be a straight 10 out of 10 Mondo Mervs, baby. Give it a 5. Hit yeah. it. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> with, a side, with a side of Mondo fries and a Mondo malt. And a Mondo malt. Fish Merv, too. Fish Merv. You got to get the Fish Merv. Exactly. All right. That's going to do it for this episode of uh, Nub's Long Play for River City Ransom. As always, I do appreciate each of you watching, and I will see you next time. See ya.